Hi guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. Um, I've done a video on HTV already, the heat transfer vinyl, so I wanted to just kind of do a little one on the regular vinyl. I actually have four sheets, one, and a white one you can't see, two, three, four, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting them out. Okay, so we're going to come in here, hit pattern, save, save data, and bulldozer so you can see as I've looked on the um, grid on my mat to position come on kitty to position the um, pieces appropriately so that when I cut it I know it's going to hit one of those so you can actually do this up in us you could actually load four different sheets on there but when I do this that's how I tend to do it I just try to lay it out so I can cut it all at once Okay, now I'm cutting. I have my blade set at a 1, the pressure at a minus 1, and the speed set at a 4. Okay, so let's take a look here and see what we've got. Alright, yep, so that's perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to go through and weed out any little piece that I don't need in my design. Okay, so here's the vinyl all weeded. So now I need to go find some transfer tape. Okay, so I have transfer tape on this first one here. That's uh, gonna go down first. I need it first on my little glass block. You just put this tape on it and then gently pull. Because again, you don't wanna rip any part of your design. Okay, so let's bring over our glass block. And just put it on here. And I start with one side and smooth it to the other. That will help you avoid bubbles. And you can also do the wet technique is what it's called. And you just take a little spray bottle and you apply a little bit of water. Sometimes people use soapy water. Um, and I do use soapy water because it seems like it helps it glide a little bit. So you spray that on there and then you lay this on top and it's really nice because the bubbles just work out really easy. Okay, so I just smeared it all down, scrunched it down with the scraper. And now I pulled that off, okay? And with this, I can actually keep reusing um, this transfer tape. So I'm going to go in and grab some more. Okay, so now I have my next piece, which will be the window on my transfer tape here. So, let's find the edge, which is right there. And we're going to go ahead, lay that on there, and squish. Then take your scraper, or your brayer, whatever you want. I like this scraper tool, because it also, when I clean the mats, it gets in there and cleans them good. Okay, so there's that. Now, the next piece. Oh, dang that. Okay, so we'll smooth this out and I will come back when I have it all done since you can see these techniques. Okay guys, this is what the finished block looks like. Um, this is only a small, I think this is a 6x6, six six, but I cut this out and I mean it cut perfectly. Uh, like I said, my depth on my blade is at a 1, uh, the pressure is at a minus 1, and my speed is at a 4. Um, and it did a really good job cutting that out. Okay. Okay, and there's my finished product, all done up in vinyl. It has the little nightlight in it. it. has a little dump truck glued on top of it. So that's how you do vinyl with the skin and cut. Thanks, guys.